you think about almost any advanced technology, the military has been out there leading it. And they have, <coughs> they have research and development down, to, down pat. Why? For the same reason we talked about at the beginning of this, of this presentation. Because they know that advanced technology is giving the edge on the battlefield. And they can't afford to be behind the guy on the other side. So it's, a, it, it is a, it's survival and it's about victory on the battlefield. So we've got to realize that that's, that's a, the, the military, the Defense Department is an engine of technological development. Why are they involved? Because they always have been, because it makes a difference on the battlefield. The other reason they're involved is because they, they are able to tie it to national security. So when it comes to funding, when they go in and say, well, we need this for national security, uh, I, I think Congress listens pretty closely to that. Um, so when it, when it comes down to getting funding for programs, and if you can tie it to national security, the Department of Defense is going to get it. Tougher for, uh, you, you, t you pick an agency, even the Department of Energy. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, Lawrence Livermore Labs in, in Livermore, California, great place. Department of Energy. Their primary service is to make sure that our nuclear stockpile is safe for our battlefield use. So they're doing other wonderful things, which we'll perhaps talk about a little bit later. But great question, why is DOD involved? One, they, they, are, they have historically been involved in, in doing advanced technology development. They, can, they are able, more able to get the funding. It is, it is what it is. Um, and frankly, uh, they, are, they need the advanced technology so they can win on the battlefield. Well, and, and I'm going to...